My name is Rele Bukhile Mabocha and uh, I'm an entertainer which means I sing, act and present but today I'm a musical director. The way that I ended up being a musical director is that uh, when I started singing I started doing performances with bands and I enjoyed putting together the brass arrangements and actually telling everybody what to do so that's how it came about and then one day I got presented with the opportunity to musical direct uh, something for television and that's how I became a musical director. On a normal day as a musical director, it probably starts at night because that's when I'm most creative. So let's say I was uh, musical directing the national anthem, I would stop thinking about what would the saxophone play, the trombone play, which singer would be singing which part and that's really where the process begins is me hearing everything as I want it to sound in my head and then putting it down on paper. Once the creative process is done and I know what I need to hear, then I start uh, getting everybody together from the musicians to the singers, backing vocalists. Usually there's a lot of repetition and a lot of waiting and trying it out and then uh, go to a rehearsal space like where we are today and start teaching everybody the music. Really, I just found that I was in music. This is the kind of personality that I had, but also I had the creativity and it was just a way of putting them together. And it really found me, which was uh, a blessing. From a creative point of view, I really can hear every instrument when I picture a piece of music. Musical directing really puts you in a place where your vision, you take it from concept to birth and you get to see it come to life. What I love most about musical directing is that um, magic can happen when you least expect it. That first time where everybody just does it right is like, <gasps> it's the best feeling, so that's magical. Uh, creatives are not really in the business of being on time. So it's very, very difficult if you say a rehearsal is going to start at 10, for it to start at 10. It can be extremely frustrating, but all in all, the re rewards are completely worth it. So at this point, I wouldn't say I get paid enough, but uh, the rewards truly make up for it. But I think at some point, I really will be in a position where I feel like, why I'm getting paid enough because there are some massive jobs in something like the South African Music Awards where you're the one in charge of the music and all the performances and I mean I'm sure the money is not bad at all but at this point where I am I'm, I'm pretty content. Average workday stress from 1 to 10 is definitely 10. I'm all about deliverables and respecting people's times I'm usually very stressed because the sooner we can get things done, like in this case today, we have a performance tomorrow. I would love for everybody to have their voices rested, so I am stressing a little bit, but it's all worth it. Tomorrow will be happy, happy days. I studied some law, some entrepreneurship and business management. Really what I studied was the school of life and uh, just being around people that did what I love and starting to imitate what they do and that's really how I came to do what I'm doing so that was my version of studying. Um, it's much easier if you do play the piano for on and um, that's something that I definitely would have studied from when I was very young, young as the piano and being able to do composition and scoring.